I'm only half Persian, so if I get at least half of this right, I've done a mediocre job. Welcome to Plunder Zone, where every other Thursday I pilfer and ponder thoughts and ideas, and today I am going to be talking about the Persian New Year. I know... I know what you're saying. It's the middle of March. It is not New Year's. But I'm talking about Persian New Year, which falls on the first day of spring. Which actually was last week. Persian New Year is called No Ruz, which literally translates to New Day. No Ruz. More like more booze, am I right? I should have taken that after I was finished filming. Now during the Persian New Year, a celebration of life, a haft scene is set up. It's pretty much a traditional celebratory table setting, haft being the Persian word for seven. So there are typically seven items. Some of them can vary, but they all also begin with S, at least in the Persian language. An apple, or seep, represents beauty. You know, like, you are the apple of my eye, yeah! I'll just leave the singing to CB Wonder. This is garlic, or seer. Seer symbolizes medicine, and the easy way to remember this one is to think of yourself as a vampire. Then someone's like, hey man, you should probably take some medicine. How about this seer? And then you take it and it's not medicine because then you die. Another another S is somak or sumac. This is actually nutmeg. Sumac is very expensive and I'm on a budget. Sumac is meant to symbolize the sun. Not really much to go on here unless it's a very nutmeggy sun. These are quarters. A whole fist. Oh. Yeah, this is difficult. Oh. This is a fistful of quarters, or it was. Coins, sakir, symbolize wealth. And this one's easy because if you didn't have all those parking meters and laundry machines to pay, you could hold on to your quarters and I know I'd be a lot better off. Don't mind me, just. Picking up my change. Sake or vinegar symbolizes patience. And the easy way to remember this one is if someone splashes vinegar all over the room, you probably want to wait a couple minutes before entering. At least I would. That kind of smells like feet. See this? This is my roommate's dinner. But what this represents are lentil sprouts. Um, which are ideal to use for sabzi. Sabzi on the haft scene represents rebirth. And an easy way to remember this one is that I think I'm allergic to cut grass. When I was younger and I had to mow the lawn, I would break out in these disgusting, itchy, really red rashes. And I would just want to die. If I died, I would be reborn. And the lawn is green like lentils. Are lentils green? Was that all of them? Was that... Did it do it? Damn it! Sunbowl is a hyacinth, not whatever flower this is. But I don't have one of those, so we're making do. The hyacinth, or sunbowl, symbolizes love. And in Greek mythology, there was a youth who was loved by the god Apollo. And there was a bit of a scuffle and jealousy and things like that, and then the youth was killed with a discus to the head. A less than ideal way to go. And now, when you rewatch this video to set up your own haft scene, you can be like, I haft seen that already. Okay, good night.